Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Preview automatically. So I have a digital marketing agency and to promote my business, I am using Facebook lead ads. And now I want that as soon as a new lead will be generated through Facebook lead ads, automatically that same lead should be added as a new client in Preview CRM. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Facebook lead ads and Preview and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the of Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. So Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger we are going to take Facebook lead ads and in action we are going to take Preview CRM and we will connect both of them in order to automate this entire process without any coding or programming skills. To learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Preview as clients. So I am an owner of a digital marketing agency and I'm running an ad campaign on my Facebook page to promote my business. I've also created a lead gen form by using Facebook lead ads to generate leads for my business. And now my objective is that as soon as a new lead will be generated for my digital marketing agency, automatically that same lead should be added to Preview CRM as a client. Alright, so for creating this automation, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software with the help of which we are going to set up a connection between Facebook lead ads and Preview and that too without any coding or programming skills. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing this URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I am directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So, let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now, here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save our workflows, okay? So, as you can find, I have multiple folders over here. I have created them to save my workflows accordingly, according to my choice. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. So, let's do that. And here, a dialog box will appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So, first of all, let us provide a name over here. Add Facebook leads to preview. So after giving the name here, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I'm going to select Facebook lead ads marketing automations folder and now let's click on create. As we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. As I told you that Fabli Connect works on these two principles. So these two are the main concepts or the building blocks on which the entire automation works. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. So let's suppose here my objective is that whenever a new lead will be generated for my digital marketing agency from Facebook lead ads, that same lead should be added as a new client in Preview CRM. So therefore, we are going to take Facebook lead ads in our trigger and Preview in our action. And we can clearly find that our action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the lead is generated, then only it is added as a client in Preview, otherwise not. So after understanding this concept, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that will be Facebook lead ads. So let's select that. And now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new lead instant will be our trigger event as we want that whenever a lead will be generated instantly the response of that lead should be captured over here in Pabli Connect and with that response the workflow should get triggered automatically. So we have selected trigger event now let's click on connect. And now from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my Facebook lead ads account. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. Now we'll click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Let's select the account. And here our authorization has become successful. So because I was already logged into my Facebook account, the authorization has become successful very easily. And now Facebook lead ads are successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So let's move further. Here we need to select the page and the lead gen form. So I'm going to take you back towards Facebook account. And this is the name of my page, Digital Dynamics, for my digital marketing agency. And I've also created a lead gen form to generate lead. Okay, so I'm going to select this page and the lead gen form here in Pabli Connect. So first of all, let's select the page. From the drop down, I'm going to select Digital Dynamics as my page. 
and now we will select the lead gen form so here i have created digital marketing form through this form i want to generate the leads for my business and i want that as soon as the lead will be generated the response of that lead should be captured here in fabric connect automatically so we have selected our page and the lead gen form in the same manner you have to select your own page from the drop down and your form then we have to click on this save and send test request button as we have done that it is showing waiting for webhook response this means that now we have to do a test submission with that we are going to receive the response over here so how we are going to do that by submitting this form which we have selected over here and for doing this i am going to take you towards meta for developers under meta for developers we have to go towards more option and here we will find the option of tools let's select that it has taken us towards developer tools now when we will scroll down we will find the option of lead ads rtu debug tool let's select that and it has taken us towards the lead ads testing tool so with the help of this tool we are going to test our integration basically between facebook lead ads and public connect so we have to select our page over here and the form and as soon as we will submit that form the response of that form will be automatically captured in public connect and with this we will test our integration whether it is perfectly successful or not okay so currently because i am not running any live campaign on my facebook page for my business therefore i could not send the response over real lead therefore i am going to do a test submission over here but in your case when you will be running a live campaign for your business on your facebook page and after setting up this connection between facebook lead ads and public connect you will test this integration and as soon as you will do that if the connection will be successful whenever a new lead will be generated from the form you have created automatically the response of that real lead the actual lead will be captured in public okay so let's move further here i'm going to select my page digital dynamics so i have selected my page and the form is also selected over here digital marketing form now we have to click on this preview form button to open the form and submit it but before that it is given that you can create one lead per form you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one so as you know that we are doing a test submission over here to test our integration therefore we cannot create multiple leads with a single form to create a new lead first of all we have to delete the existing lead from this form by clicking on this delete lead button and then we have to move forward so let's do that i'm going to click on this delete lead button to delete my existing lead and after doing this we will simply refresh the page once and once again we will select our page and the form is already selected so this is very important step once you will refresh your page you also have to select your page and the form so that a new form could be open in front of you so now i'm going to click on this preview form button and the form is open in front of us so basically i have created this contact form to get in touch with my leads as soon as the person is going to submit this form along with all the details i am going to receive the details of that same lead in public connect and then further i am going to add that lead in my crm account after that we can also send them personalized email whatsapp messages or sms etc whatever we want okay now here i am going to fill the form quickly and because i am doing a test submission over here i am going to enter all the dummy details let's start with the full name let's say the name of my lead will be dummy lead okay now i'm going to enter an email a random email dummy at the rate pabletuse.com and at last a random phone number okay i've entered all the details now let's click on next and we will submit this form so as we have submitted the form let's cross this and we'll move back towards pabli connect we will wait for a few seconds over here and we can find that we have received the response in the response we have received all the details full name email and the phone number along with other details such as created time at which the lead is created and here are some other details as well so this means that our connection between facebook lead ads and public connect is successful so now after building the connection whenever a new lead will be generated the response of that lead will be captured over here automatically so let's move further and our objective is to add this lead as a new client in preview so for that we will simply connect preview with public connect in our action step so let's move towards our action application here in our action application we will select preview and now we will select the action event that will be create client okay let's click on connect and now from the given options i am going to select add new connection to build a new connection with preview account if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that but to create a new connection we have to provide preview authentication token now from where we are going to find this token for that the instructions are provided to us very clearly we just have to go towards integration section of preview and then under public connect we will find our authentication token so let me take you towards preview here we have to go towards integration section and now here we will search for public connect this is public connect so let's select that and this is our authentication token so i will simply copy it and we will go back towards public connect and paste it over here done let's click on save with this we can find that preview is successfully connected with public connect so let's move further here we have to enter all the details name lead source email phone number and other details in order to create a new client over there we want to add our facebook lead as a client in preview therefore we are simply going to add all the details which we have received from facebook lead ads response over here one by one so let's simply map the data mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the other details so we will simply select the data which we want here we want to map the name which is given over here 
the mean lead let's select that and it is mapped so when we have mapped this name it has become dynamic that means now with each and every new response it is going to replace so whatever data we map the data become dynamic and it gets replaced automatically with a new response but if we will enter this name manually or by copy and pasting then it would have become static and then it is not going to change with each and every new response therefore whenever we want that data should get replaced automatically with each and every new response then we map the data over there okay so now the next is lead source we have received this lead from facebook so i'm going to enter facebook lead ads over here and now the next is email so we will simply map the email of the lead and at last the phone number okay so we have mapped all the details and here it is asking us to enter keys that means some additional customer details if you want to add some additional customer details over here we can add them by using comma separated values okay now let's click on save and send test request button after mapping all the important fields and here we can find that we have received the response and it is given that the response is success this is the client id and this is the lead id this means that our facebook lead is added in preview as a client so let's go and check here we will move back we will go towards client section and here we can find that yes our lead is added over here as a new client with a name as dummy lead here are all the details it is given that the source of this lead is facebook lead ads here is the email phone number and the name this means that our workflow is perfectly successful so let's go back and here we will summarize what we have done here in the workflow so we have taken two simple steps trigger and action in trigger we have taken facebook lead ads and in action we have taken preview crm and we have connected both of them by using pabli connect in such a way that now whenever a new lead will be generated from facebook lead ads for our business Business, automatically that same lead will be added as a client in preview crm in this way you can very easily create this automation without any coding or programming skills to add your facebook leads to preview crm and that too automatically this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support@redpabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations